gang, welcome to Wit Runner. We're up to round 13 already and we're doing Division 7. I've got a couple of virgins here. Yeah. First time first time here, so we'd like to welcome Bray Raffinelli from the Lockers Footer Club. Welcome, Bray. Yeah, it's awesome to be here, mate. Long time viewer, first time a caller. And, uh, and also got Stephen Clay uh, from the Port Districts. Welcome, yeah. Stephen. Hey, thank you. Nice so I'd like to Steve. welcome these guys. So I'm um, not idea how they got here. Probably the, the producer just pulled them off the street from somewhere and grabbed them here. But go to the first game. We got the Houghton Districts took on Mitchell Park. So we had uh, Houghton in seventh versus ninth. So look, Mitchell Park aren't uh, going too well at the moment. Just no. one game against is the Crabs, so just uh, scores was uh, 9-16-70, uh, defeating uh, Mitchell Park 9-13-67, so only the three points at the end guys, so it's a pretty close one considering Mitchell Park are yeah. struggling this year. Yeah, they uh, gave them a good run for their money I reckon. Yeah, probably a bit closer than most people would have expected there, so uh, yeah, best players for uh, for Houghton, uh, M Sharp, B Johnson, S Picasso, B Clark and N Hall, and the goal kickers were uh, B Johnson, three, Picasso 2, Cluse 2, Clark 1 and uh, single to Francis as well. And uh, with Mitchell Park you've got the goal kickers, uh, A. Halmay, he kicked 4, uh, K. Scott kicked 3, uh, S. Bellawood and uh, Ard Watmore with the singles. Uh, best players were K. Scott, he also got the 3, uh, J. Doherty, uh, B. Wong, Katz, Walkerzak. And uh, B Trig and A Halamay with a four can only just scrape in. Yeah, yeah, that's it. But we do have interesting uh, English with Darcy. Usually, when you get names like Walzak and all this, so we to <laughs> pronounce it. But uh, I think nine goals, sixteen probably was probably the, the turning point there. I think Mitchell yeah. Park went yeah. nine thirty. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a bad day for footy. But um, anyway, uh, the districts is a win, a win. So oh, I think we need uh, Lucy Zellick on here to pronounce some of those <laughs> yeah. names on there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And it gets better. Let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bit of a joke running around here about English with Darcy. So, but um, now we've got Lon oh, Sullivan Speaks, but they are cruising. Not even haven't yeah. lost yet. 30 yeah. games straight. So they took on Gong Grove, who were sitting eighth at the moment. So probably a bit closer than they thought. They were it's 11 goal 975, defending Gong Grove 7547. Uh, and guys, this has got to be the longest journey in uh, in um, Adelaide Free League history. Sure, is a Sullivan Speech up to Gong Grove. Well, so it's going to be pretty close to the Trinity. So Trinity's or Smithfield versus Kenilworth. It's going to be that's a pretty, pretty uh, big one as well. Yeah, so yeah, but that doesn't go very much. Yes. A long way to go for Gong Grove, and they did well, only lost by say three goals in the end, considering like, a Sullivan's which are on fire, so but uh, wins a win. So Something to like O'Sullivan's Beach, probably be a, probably a bit of a jet lag thing there yeah, for the yeah, Grove boys. Yeah. But uh, big Rigney with, with seven. I know he's uh, T Wigney. I know he's pretty close getting his hundred. I think he's sitting on about seventy eight. I reckon. So I think he's leading the whole amateur leg. So we're we'll pretty close. And he's obviously his brother A Rigney with two. M Ross from single and the uh, single to G Dean. The best players were, of course, T Rigney, A Beats, B Clark, M Devonshire, and B Hayes. Yeah, and you go across Golden Grove, and you got their uh, goal kickers at B Shaw with three, S Merritt with two, C Ashcroft and J Potts with singles. Uh, you go under their best players; uh, they're all different here, I reckon. Uh, L Marsland, R Darwin, D Tula, M Tis, and oh, Merritt does scrape in. S Merritt with the two goals and fifths. Yeah, yeah no, good win. Now that's all of a sudden, cruising with absolutely no losses at the moment. They're no. probably one of the only few. I think there's only a couple of others which we'll go through lately. But good move going from the uh, Southern League oh, to them. It's it, great. They're never married. Yeah. I mean, cruising through now. Yeah, they'll, yeah. they'll get in smashes, you know, in the Southern League, and they're yeah. coming. Look, Div Seven is a low grade, but hey, it's going to attract start to attract um, spectators back and players yeah. back in the club and. Hopefully they'll get in Division 6 and start the time yeah. Yeah, I think, so it, I think it's good for the club to be able to build. Um, there's no Absolutely. point getting spanked every week. Um, you come in and it doesn't matter what division it is, you can work your way out. Absolutely. Good so. responses. And we head out to Perdering Grove, where they took on Century United. So it was Teacher Gully who was sitting at fourth, taking on Century United, who were six. So around the mark, there um, two games. It was I reckon this was a bit of an upset actually. So Teacher Gully, they were cruising three games ahead of Century United, but this is now only two games. So it was. Uh, it was a Century United, 11-11-77, defeating Tetra Gully out there at Pettering Grove with two, so 7-12-54, um, so probably look, 12 points to 11 points, I think, um, poor kick by Tetra Gully, but nonetheless it's still a win, so, um, yeah, so look, at, look at Century United. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Central United, uh, they, they snuck away, uh, they, got, they got the win in the end, so uh, S. Grogan kicked five, uh, Cosenza, Cosenza kicked two, T. Porter kicked two. <laughs> Stan Purcell and S. Gatto with Georgie. One. Yeah. <laughs> best players, uh, best players for the boys, the Bulldogs out there were A. Tunbridge, M. Garner, J. Ritzmer, A. Grave, and C. Wagner. 
And yeah, good to know Central United picked up uh, Mark Garner back. So he was uh, formerly from there, then went to Smithfield, and then she went to YP and back to yeah. Central nice. United. So it's a great pick up for them. Yeah, very good player. So Teacher of Gully, Gold Kickers, M. Clark with two, T. Formaza two, Jay Thompson, B. Jones, and P. McCauley. Uh, all singles, Home Alone Boy. Um, best players <laughs> T. Coates, D. Ford, B. Jones, S. Fraser, and A. Richter. And it looks like, um, so what's the, from, um, and now we head out to the St. Paul's over where St. Paul's took on, look, poor old crabs lads, look yeah. there, they're out there on a Saturday having a kick and a catch, they're getting smashed every week with a hey look, and we love it, absolutely footy it is, and they um, got done by 20 goals, uh, it was a 22 goals, 11, 143, St. Paul's defending Finland's University, 2 goal 2, but hey look, they're having fun, we say that every week, it's absolutely footy, div 7, and tough day, yeah. tough day at the office, but tough um, yeah, well, crabbies, yeah. crabbies, yeah. that's yeah. it, yeah. Yeah. but uh, we'll get straight into it, so for St. Paul's, yeah, I'll, I'll go to St. Paul's, we've got a couple of boys I work with that play uh, in the uh, B grade yeah. there, but we'll, uh, we'll get along to them, with the uh, goal kickers, uh, Jay Laceno kick 6, uh, Jay Werfel kick 4, uh, and Mascara, M- M- Moraska kick 4, L Davies kick 3, M Rosen kick 2, uh, W there's another one. Uh, Nessa Dean. Uh, That's the one. Uh, yeah. Kick one. Two, T Salisbury one and Cullinan one. Uh, best players for him were Jay Lasano, L Davies, M Rosen, A Marati and N Mascara. See, my job's a bit easier uh, with the footballers yeah. and crabs there. <laughs> Only two single goal kickers there, <laughs> Jay Ryan and D Moyle. So, um, shout out to those boys. Uh, keep, keep on keeping on. Um, best players R Haynes, J Dushis. W Hall, J Nitschke, D Schofield and C Ridding. So the goalkeepers couldn't quite get the best players themselves. No, that's yeah. it. That's yeah. harsh, isn't it? We saw, <laughs> exactly. We, yeah. There is a thing because we saw one guy the other week kick seven goals, didn't get best players. We're going to watch them during the year. Mm, so you must have good delivery. That's the, that's <laughs> the one. So going to the last game now, Marion took on um, took on, on, on Mawson Lake. So it was a, a good win there to Marion. They're sitting second, just the three losses over Mawson Lakes there. They're sitting fifth, so it's their one game clear in fifth yeah. spot. So it was still a... Um, obviously a good win to the Marion, Morse Lakes just holding in there. But uh, it was 11 goal 13 and 79, defending Morse Lakes 5 goal 4. So look at the uh, the Marion. Yeah, well I know that players. Wade. Wade's on about 70 odd goals too. So he's kicked 4, Saunders 2, Reeves, Reeves, Fraser, O'Day, Henderson and Saunders all with singles. Best players, A. Robertson, B. Reeves, R. Wade, J. J. Buckney, Earl Ramos Fraser and S. Bazan. About time you got one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, with Mawson Lakes, you had uh, Jay Keese with two, uh, Robert O'Gorman kicking uh, one, D King and O Richards all with one. Um, we have best players uh, Jay Salter, G Mackey, uh, Lee Hammett. That's another one. Yeah. <laughs> El Cannett and uh, M. Duiviston. And uh, we will go to the goal scorers. We don't know who do this, but they just said Ryan Wade, 78 goals. Yeah, well, so he's. We've got um, around 30, and we've got what's that, seven games to go, so you reckon he'll bag his ton uh, within the next few weeks? Sure. 22 goals. Sure. Trevor Rigney, 74 goals, only a few behind, so we've never mm. seen those sort of two players right up there at this, the, in, this end of the season. Mm. Um, yeah, I know, uh, I think Trevor Rigney spoke on their Triple M, he was very confident they rang him up. Early the <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, yeah. A couple of weeks ago, they rang <laughs> up, he was <laughs> very, yeah. very confident. Yeah. Uh, remember, he said he reckons he'll do it before round 17, I think he said. Ah. <laughs> I think he'll be buying the boys' beers to get him some goals. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. yeah but no, the, I said Osama's beach they're cruising on top, so he probably does get fed very well. So then you've got Daniel Forsberg with 49, so they're way behind, actually 25 yeah. goals behind. Uh, Matt Pe- uh, Pennington, he's on 45 with uh, Lock and Anderson from the out districts on 31. But now head over to this week's games. We're looking at um, uh, Finnish University taking on Sunless Beach. We've got top versus bottom, so we've got top that haven't lost a game versus bottom that haven't won a game yet. So I'm going to think there's probably going to be, look, I love Finnish University that ring. There's going to be a 40 goal game here, I think. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say home ground advantage. No, <laughs> there's no, there's no, there's no to play anything to it either, so. Yeah, Still yeah no. this corner. Yeah. Unfortunately, the uh, plan will continue. I'm thinking 100 plus. Yeah. What about the thing they wake up Sunday morning from the junior first place? Thinking, oh, playing on Sullivan's Beach, so they've lost. That's okay, they're out there having a good time. So, so resilient, so resilient. Absolutely. Yeah, so, it could be the good times and bad times. Um, yeah. We've got a bit of a derby now. We've got uh, Golden Grove taken on Houghton District, yeah. so we've got uh, yeah. Golden Grove there. Yeah, it's probably half struggling. Um, eighth versus seventh, so a bit of a, a derby. Look, I'm going for home ground advantage. I think they're actually th- they're three games behind Houghton District, so actually, I'm changing my mind Houghton District for me. Uh, yeah, I reckon. I reckon I'd go with Golden Grove. Uh, I reckon they uh, they might be able to get the job done. Uh, 
Um, I think it's a really big uh, local derby, and uh, they need to they need to get the win to stay out of uh, that bottom two. So. Yeah. yeah, on form I'll go with the grey. Thanks. Yeah, it's good. And uh, Morse Lakes taking on uh, St Paul. So looking at uh, Morse Lakes are sitting uh, fifth, taking on uh, so. St Paul's were third. Yeah. I think going on Morse Lakes having that bad loss last week. I think we're looking at probably uh, St Paul's to me. They lost three. They're equal second with Marion actually. So we're going to St Paul's. Yeah. Yeah. Same for me. Um, I'd like to see uh, a little shout out to Sam Stradiato and uh, Ricky Emily. See if they can get a gig up in the ones this week. <laughs> uh, maybe they get the win with those uh, with those boys. So uh, no, St Paul's good for me. Yeah. We could see say maybe St Paul's maybe get a promotion. Maybe they they get their cards right. So St Paul's me again. Yeah. Uh, Mitchell Parker, unfortunately, just won the one game, sitting ninth, taking on Century United. They're, uh, they're one game out of the five, so you'd think, based on that, Century United should do pretty comfortably. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Century United's yeah. yeah, probably the matches around Teacher Gully taking on Marion. So Marion are but their second, equal second with St Paul's. Teacher Gully are just one game behind. At Pettering Grove, well, for me, very hard to beat out there, I think. It's going to be a crack of a game, but Teacher Gully by golf. Yeah, I think, I think uh, Teacher Gully uh, definitely be uh, looking to bounce back from last week's loss. Um, they don't lose too many out there, yeah, so unfortunately it. for Marion, they've probably got them at the wrong time. Let's say Teacher Gully about three or four. I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure there's still be a nervous fullback at Teacher Gully though. No, I yeah, think we've got to be late there. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So. I, I think if you keep them under five, Teacher Gully will win. So. Yeah. yeah. Good. Thanks guys, that's Division 7 and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you.